Hello everyone, my name is Vic of ES Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you uh, the frequently asked questions on Initiative Q about the, the Q payment network and who's behind Initiative Q, okay? So without further ado, let's proceed to the um, topic. So the Q payment network. So what, this adv what advantages does the Q payment network offer? So over the last few decades, many advances in payment systems have been devised, but they have not been made have not been made available since they are only valuable once they are widely adopted. A chicken and an and egg problem. Initiative Q's distribution incentives solve the adoption problem, thereby offering one global network that integrates many of these breakthroughs, such as low transaction costs. A streamlined digital process with better fraud protection means fewer costs. A universal currency and one global system, one address for all financial needs, cutting edge measures to ensure secure transactions, fingerprint voice and face recognition, multi factor authentication, and advanced artificial intelligence models, simplicity and user friendliness. One-click payments, no need to carry cash or cards. Customer protection, using internal regulations and buyer feedback to prevent sellers from misrepresenting their products and pricing. Reversibility and efficient dispute resolution. Easy online claims process to ensure user confidence. Optimal credit allocation, using richer information and more advanced models to correctly assign credit to lenders. Parental control, some accounts that allow parents to control children's expenses. Helping the unbanked, connecting to the world economy, the billions who don't have access to financial services. Okay, why will initiative you succeed where others haven't? Since payment systems involve a network of buyers and sellers, a new technology only brings value once it is widely adopted. Buyers first want to see many sellers offering it and vice versa. There have been many great payment technologies developed over the years, but they failed to gain universal acceptance due to this barrier. Initiative Q's innovation is in leveraging the future value of Q itself to incentivize its widespread adoption. Our unique reward system encourages users to become early adopters and opens the door to adoption of major breakthroughs in the payment industry. What can I do with my reward queues? Once the system is functional, the queues served for you will be released gradually and you will then be able to use them for any kind of payment or exchange, purchases, sales, rentals, investments, and etc. When will I be able to use my reward queues? The reward queues reserved for you will be released gradually, distributing all the queues at the same time will flood the market and devalue the currency. Therefore, once the system goes live and begins to grow, only a set of proportion of once reserved queues will be available for spending. The rate at which queues are released will be regulated to maintain a stable instant um, exchange rate or around one queue per one US dollar, while also incentivizing economic growth. Queues may be granted sooner to members in some locations to accelerate the creation of local queue-based economies. Economic models show that if an initiative queue succeeds and the queue payment network becomes a leading payment method, then eventually all of the queues reserved for members will be released while still maintaining the one-to-one -one ratio exchange with US dollars. Are my queues queue transactions private? Can anyone see them? Initiative queue is designed to succeed as a ma mainstream payment network which means fully complying with all laws and regulations, transaction information on the queue payment network will be handled similarly to how current payment and banking networks operate, wherein the bank maintains all the transaction records but must safeguard the data and cannot share it with outside parties unless required to do so by law. How much is one queue worth in USD? At this stage, queues are only being reserved and cannot be used. 
If Initiative Q becomes a leading payment network, queues are expected to be worth approximately one US dollars per queue. This estimate is detailed in our economic model. So what is your estimate of the queue value based on? So the reasoning behind the estimated future value of queue payment network can be summarized as follows. Number one, the payment would be, I mean, would be the payment world is stuck and de with decades old technology since it is very difficult to get buyers to adopt a new technology that sellers don't yet support and vice versa. Number two, Initiative Q solves this problem by compensating early adopters with future currency. Uh, next one is, this enables the building of payment network that is far superior to current ones. A payment network that is both superior technologically and widely adopted would be preferred by both buyers and sellers. It is realistic to expect that such a network would eventually overtake credit cards which count for $20 trillion in annual transactions. The total amount of money in the world, in the world is roughly half the world's annual economic activity. The value of all Q currency could thus reach half of Q and Q's annual volume. Uh, number seven, an alternative data point is the value of cryptocurrencies, which peaked at nearly one trillion dollars, despite hardly being used for real payments. Nearly all activity is speculation. Number eight, uh, therefore, the two total future value of Q's could reach a few trillion dollars. Since there are currently 2 trillion queues, the goal of 1 US dollar per queue is achievable. What happens if not enough people sign up? Initiative Q needs many committed users to ensure a meaningful network of buyers and sellers. If a critical mass is not reached, the project may not go forward because the rewards are only, available, are in, only valuable once the system is functional. It is in everyone's interest to get others to join. Behind Initiative Q who is behind Initiative Q? So Initiative Q was founded by Sar Wilf, a serial entrepreneur who started his first payment startup in 1997 and later founded Fraud Sciences, which redefined the payment security space and was acquired by PayPal in 2008. The Initiative Q team comprises top experts in payment systems, macroeconomics, and internet technologies. The idea behind Initiative Q is to first create a critical mass of users, which can then be harnessed to create the world's best payment network. Therefore, currently, our primary focus is to get millions of Q members registered, after which we will recruit the world's top professionals in the same space. I mean, in this space. What is the Monetary Committee? So, global currency should not be controlled by one private company. Therefore, an independent monetary committee will be appointed via voting by all members and stakeholders in the Q payment network. The committee will only issue, issue new coins for the purpose of maintaining stability and increasing adoption, similar to how the world's largest currencies are managed. The alternative, having a fixed supply of Qs like Bitcoin or a similarly simplistic monetary policy will not work in the real world. Stability of purchasing power is crucial to success. And it can only happen through intelligent analysis of economic activity and customer behavior. So who are the Q agents? So Initiative Q will focus on the technology standards and regulation of the payment system while delegating the financial operation to hundreds of local agents. These local agents will be responsible for customer service, safeguarding members' funds, connecting local stores, legal compliance, and settling with other agents. Agents compete with each other to manage member accounts, buyers or sellers, and receive a small fee for transactions they process. Together, they enable the Q payment network to be a truly global system, with local branches providing individualized support and access. So how many queues are there who holds them? So 2 trillion queues will be issued to be distributed as follows. 80% are expected to be distributed as incentives to encourage user activity and promote network growth. Around half of the incentives are reserved for buyers and the rest for the sellers, agents, contributors, and incentivized growth supporting activities within the Q network. 
10% are assigned to the Initiative Few Payment Company for the purpose of funding development of the world's most advanced payment network. 10% are assigned to the Q Monetary Committee, Monetary Reserves. These will be gradually converted to other currencies and financial assets, allowing many Q members to easily convert to other currencies if needed. Monetary Committee members will be compensated according to industry standards. Once the initial 2 trillion Q are fully distributed, the Monetary Committee may create and distribute new queues in order to give the money supply in line with economic activity and to maintain stability as outlined in the economic model. So, now that this concept is out, what prevents a hundred new initiative queues like that first from popping up? So, for a new payment network to exceed, it must reach wide-scale adoption. Buyers should see many sellers supporting this payment option and sellers should see many buyers requesting it. If the market fragments into many networks, this is much less likely to happen and everyone loses. With the competing networks, the buyers and the sellers. It is therefore a high priority for the initiative queue to deter copycats, at least during the initial growth phase. This includes number one, exclusivity incentives. Initiative queue will provide incentives for sellers to commit to using the queue payment network exclusively. Legal. Core components of the initiative queue model are patent pending. Trade secrets. Initiative Q has served several tools to accelerate growth, which will be rolled out in the future. To keep the competitive advantage, this will be exposed only when necessary. Rapid growth. Most importantly, the faster the Q payment network grows, the harder it will be for, the, for a newcomer to catch up. There you can help get more of your friends on board and increase both on your rewards and the likelihood of the Q payment network success. To be clear, while a unified network is required for success, competition is important to drive progress and innovation. The Q payment network is therefore designed as an open network of adoption of, I mean, of independent operators to compensate I mean, or compete on competing buyers and sellers to the network. Okay, so that's it. So that is the Q payment network and the behind initiative Q. Okay, guys. So. Those are the frequently asked questions about what is um, what about the Q payment network and behind Initiative Q. So these are uh, the Initiative Q was founded by PayPal Perks, former PayPal Perks. Okay, so it's founded by R Wheel. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. So okay, so see you on the next video. Um. Before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell. So you must always do your own research before deciding for a sell. Okay? So I think that's it guys. Um, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.